Praise the Lord. I am very glad to be here to preach the word of God. And also I thank God for the great privilege that he has given to me stand before you all through this TV channel. First of all, I greet you all in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Now these days the people are searching and uh, finding out for the satisfaction and happiness and the meaning of the life really once again i'm telling you remembering you that the people are searching for the satisfaction and the happiness and the meaning of the life let me ask a question here please what people can do to find out the satisfaction and happiness or the meaning of the life where will they find out the satisfaction and happiness in their lives? My dear friends, here we have to know about the great king of Israel, who is a wise and philosopher. His name is Solomon. He's a great king. Not easy. Very, very, very intelligent fellow. Do you remember? Do you study about him? Have you ever told the story about this man? Great man, great philosopher, the great king of Israel. Here we have to know in order to understand the meaning of the life or to get the satisfaction and happiness in our lives, we have to know something. There are some things we have to do to gain something to be good or to be bad in life in world whatever we want to do or whatever we have to receive there are the some things to remember to do or to keep in practical here according to the bible or according to the the situations what i am here to stay the things we have to fulfill. We should fulfill our responsibilities as a child of God. You know, that is our duty to fulfill our responsibilities. In order to get the satisfaction and happiness and to know about the meaning of the life. My dear friends, first of all, we will know about uh, the book of Ecclesiastes. In Hebrew language, this book, the name is Kohilat, the Hebrew name, which means one who assembles, philosopher, teacher, one who gather the people to give them few words about the good and bad, so and so. What else? That must be. That means Ecclesiastes is really talking about uh, the meaning of the life. Which means, if God is in your life, your life is the meaningful life. Or if there is no God in your life on this earth, your life, nothing making sense. It not make any sense if there is no God in our life. Well, my friends, my brothers and sisters, as we are all the child of God, we know that the child is uh, giving responsibility to us to fulfill there are two arguments one argument is we know everybody cat right cat cat gave birth to the cubs small cats children small uh, cubs you know the cat will catch with that mouth and carry here and there here and then took the look after them and take care of their children cubs the first argument as we are all children of God, the God must look after us, not we. That is the first argument. The second argument, we know the monkey. Monkey also gave birth to the cubs, which means uh, small monkeys, children. 
you know the small monkey will catch the mother and the small monkey take the responsibility to hold her mother tightly and then go the mother will jump and jump and jump and go with the three legs one leg will only just giving support to the small monkey who is taking the responsibility here practically if you think the small monkey have the responsibility to hold her mother and go with the mother that's what a responsibility in second arguments the some other says god gave the people and he made them to live on this earth the people have the responsibility to live according to the god's will so think about this which is the better one i think as far as i am concerned i learn i am a theologian i have been to kerala and i studied word of god bible arguments questions answers oh my god i learned so many things because the god's will is upon me still now right now in this minute the god is still watching me whether i am speaking about the bad things where i am what i am what i have to do whether i should uh, do according to the god's will or not see my brother and sisters let's go to the the book of ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 13 and 14 verse first of all we study and that manner we will divide uh, three parts according to the this verses let's look into the book of ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 13 let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter fear god and keep his commandments for this is the whole duty of man 14 words for god will bring you every walk into judgment including every secret thing whether it is good or whether it is evil here we have to know we'll go to the 13 words in the first part which means a part fear god in 13 words we see the first part fear god we know what is a fear god there are many 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 fears death to fear dog fear snake fear no father parents fear we will fear to the parents when we when you see parents if you done the wrong thing your parent came to you and asking you have such a timid in your heart and that fear terrify you because you have done the mistake so such a fears are there but here i am talking about i am remembering you i am in i bowling and telling you that there is a one responsibility first responsibility as a child of god is to fear god whether you are fearing god or not i don't know as a child of god as we are all children of god we should fear god will you really my dear friends here we have to understand uh, let me tell you uh, an illustration here there was a family who were very rich they had a big bungalow they had a fields servants good positions and personally they didn't have a children to look after them would have the responsibility on the their possessions so at last they adopted a son and they they gave the children to all the responsibilities to look after them and look after their property so what he has to do now is work is only for the having responsibility to look after them and look after their possessions that what he has to do nothing else as well as the god gave birth to us to live on this earth according to the god's will but we are not doing that the god is telling you according to the, all these things the man living on this earth the people his duty must to fulfill his responsibilities i am remembering you i am teaching you i am telling you i am making you to understand i am making to you sense that we have to fulfill three responsibilities according to the ecclesiastes book from the bible the first one i told you already 
as a children of god the first responsibility as a child of god is to fear god we have to fear god you know uh, if you fear god uh, there are many things we have to understand well, let's go to the psalms david uh, written this psalms chapter 34 verse 7 I will study here. The angel of the Lord encamps all around those who fear him and deliver them. What a, what a sentence. What a, you know, verse it is. If you fear God, if you are fearing God, if you have a really fear about God, when you look into the God, where you are doing mistakes, you have done many things wrongly, really you will fear God. As well as you fear to your parents, as well as, as we are all children of God, the God is asking to have the responsibility on this earth. You also should have the uh, fear God. That's what the angel of the Lord encamps all around. If you fear God, or if you fear him, the angel of the Lord, the Lord will encamp you, which means he will always protect you. He always guide you. He always give you the protection. Not only that, he will give you the satisfaction and happiness. He will show you the meaning of the life which you live on this earth until you die. My dear friends, remember that. Yes, the Lord encamps us. My brethren in Christ. Now, first thing we have completed. If you have fear God, the Lord will always protect you. Not only that, if you are in the problems, if you are uh, went into the circumstances which you cannot uh, come out, really God will deliver you. He will deliver you. He is the Lord, one who deliver you from the bodies of sins or problems or sickness, any cause. You fear God first. The second responsibility that we have to understand, that in 13 words, in 13 words, the second part, Fear God, first part, and second part is to keep His commandments. Whether you are doing the commandments or not, we know everybody commandments as your children of God, as your Christians, and going to the church and learning and listening to the word of God from your God servants, from your pastor. Whether I don't know whether you will understand about the commandments or not. There are, according to the Bible, there are ten commandments. Not only those, there are many that Jesus told to do. As you are children of God, we have to remember the second responsibility of a child of God is to keep his commandments. As a child of God, we should keep these commandments. What are the commandments? We should not uh, commit adultery. We should not steal. We should not speak uh, wrongly. There are, there are mainly ten are there. According to these ten commandments that Jesus told you one only. Love all. What a, what a you know, word is this? We never accept about this word from Jesus' mouth. Jesus told you, if you are uh, uh, trying to do according to the, uh, this law, which means the uh, Ten Commandments, if you want to do all, first of all, you love all. You should not have any enmity in your heart. You should not have any timid to speak to your enemy. You just take it out and feel good and too good to be good and think about your love is for all that's what uh, the God came down for us and he died on the cross of Calvary he died for us don't you know that don't you think about Jesus Christ he loved how much as well as he told you to love all you should not show the partiality in church in other places in family wherever maybe you should not show that you must have only the love in your heart for every buddy my friends my brother in Christ, we sh second responsibility, we have to uh, look into the, keep his commandments. We have to keep his commandments. Really, if you keep his commandments, something happens going to be now, uh, according to the Bible. Please look into the Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 1. Now it shall come to pass, if you diligently obey the voice of the Lord your God, to observe carefully all his commandments, which I commanded you to today, that the Lord, your God, will set you high above all nations of the earth. Really, if we keep
keep his commandments if you have a love everybody say that fellow is very good he is like a very good man he is the best one he speaks politely he speaks to everyone with the same thing no partiality good man nice man he is a integrity person he has nothing enmity in his heart he feels everybody the same as well as really my friends really my believers remember abraham moses isaac jacob joshua many members are there to remember will you remember them in your in your life in your days because they kept their commandments they kept the commandments of god so they become good above all which means as you are living in a village or city or in in other states or other countries about wherever you live you should remember the commandments in your life that's what you have to do and also as we are all children of god we should fulfill this responsibility to keep his commandments whether you will do or not i don't know but according to the bible i am teaching you and preaching the word of god i'm i'm preaching the gospel to understand what the god will is talking about what the man's duty what the man must do should do he must emphasize i am telling you that the english words in english bible you will see some words are will emphasize which means strongly pressing and say that the man must do all these things the responsibilities of a child of god as we are all children of god you and me everybody as we are all children of god we should understand we should fulfill our responsibility the as i told you already the first one first responsibility of your child of god is to fear god the second one the responsibility of your child of god is to keep his commandments are you really keeping the commandments or if you don't keep his commandments if we do not keep his commandments please look into the uh, book of uh, deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 67 in the morning you shall say oh that is our evening and at evening you shall say oh that were morning because of the fear which terrifies your heart because you are not keeping and you have a responsibility but you are not doing according to the practically according to the bible you are not following that you are not fearing god you are doing the mistakes speaking vulgarly bad things and you are not keeping in the commandments you are, you never accept the bible you are never accept your parents to go in a right manner and what will happen see there in the morning you shall say oh, oh that is for when morning time you will say evening evening time you will say morning when it's going to be morning when any it's going to be evening you will look for that because that heart terrifies your heart because you are afraid always you will have right i don't know i don't know i understand if god is you have to fear god only not for the time not for the world not for your uh, enemies or not for the things that you have to do in past days my friends really we have to as we are all children of god we should remember we should understand all those things and also the third responsibility of your child of god is to know the judgment of god the third one last one very very important what's 14 you just go to the verse 14 we have to understand for god will bring every work into judgment including secret thing whether it is bad or whether it is good you know in past days we have done many things in present days we have done many things whether you have done knowingly whether you have done uh, unknowingly whether it is good whether it is bad whatever it may be if you have done you know one thing all the things god will bring you before the judgment throne my brethren in christ my brothers and sisters my believers or oh my father and mother or oh my sisters brothers my all others those who are watching this tv channel today the ecclesiast the great solomon said the three duties the three responsibilities that yes we are children of god must do there is nothing else to say that should do that must be done my 
uh, friends we should know this about the judgment here is a another reference for uh, for that please look into the book of uh, second corinthians apostles uh, paul written the second corinthians chapter 5 verse 10 for we must all appear before the judgment seat of christ that each one may receive the things done in the body according to what he has done whether good or bad whether you have done bad things or good things whatever it may be you have done some things really all these things will come to the judgment of god really god will judge you so remember you days you have many problems through the problems because you are afraid of the time because you are afraid about your life how i have to live how would i get the satisfaction and happiness in my life so i will go in wrong way and i will find out the satisfaction adultery i will do i will go with the harlot so i will have the happiness and satisfaction i will steal something so that i will have the satisfaction i don't understand my brothers and sisters from that we don't have the satisfaction if you keep these commandments first command is fear god keep his commandments know the judgment of god one day god will judge you that you have to should know if you know the three commandments you will have the meaning of life and you will have the satisfaction and you will have the happiness in your life will you that will you do that will you practically do or practically remember or will you keep in practical to do all those three responsibilities as a children of god my brother in christ let's pray let's pray now those who are watching through this mana tv channel please close your eyes with me and then uh, pray whether you are doing secret things like a bad or good whatever it may be god will really ask you god will really bring every work into judgment we have to fear god keep his commands whatever he said we must do all these commandments the word we have to practically do in our life we must remember all those things and then know the judgment of god whatever we do oh god will judge us so we don't do we this is a bad thing we don't do because god will judge me in that manner just pray to god let's close your eyes my father in heaven we thank you so much for this great privilege that i stand before before all those who are watching tv channel and i pray for them guide them lead them give them the responsibilities the three responsibilities give them father and let so that they will fulfill their responsibilities so that they will have the satisfaction and happiness and the meaning of the life in their lives we thank you for this opportunity to fulfill this up responsibilities on this earth we thank you for all we thank you for everything we thank you for this happiness and satisfaction and meaning of the life in our life to as a children of god to follow you father we thank you all these things we commit unto mighty care we hand out to you lord please be with us and bless us we ask in the name of jesus amen praise the lord here i am once again i have planned to do the god's ministry in different places so i want to you to pray for me so that i am able to do the god's ministry in great manner i want to go and do the ministry in different places or village or city or wherever maybe i want to do i dedicate my life to the god i must serve the god in great manner i have a, such a passion to the god's work so please pray for me so that god may lead me so that god may lead or guide or uh, give me a knowledge to understand the word of god to proclaim the gospel in different places thank you so much god bless you all
అబ్రహాముయి సాగును బలి చినారాధన రాళ్లతో చంపబడిన స్తెఫను అలే ఆరాధన అబ్రహాముయి సాగును బలి చినారాధన రాళ్లతో చంపబడిన స్తెఫను అలే ఆరాధన ఆరాధన స్థుతి పదివే